lash tutorials. My most viewed video on my YouTube channel is actually a lash tutorial. It's gotten over 150,000 views and like I said, that's my most viewed video ever. So I want to like take some time out to appreciate and acknowledge that accomplishment. I thought being that that was over a year ago, maybe I should film a new one, an updated one because that was like my first or second time ever doing my own lashes and I made a lot of mistakes and I've learned a lot from those experiences being that I've made like three videos by now. I really just did a deep dive on what I wanted. Of course, I wanted a cat eye. Last night, I really finally found the lash category of the lash that I was actually looking for. I don't know if this makes sense, but you know how they're like volume hybrid wispy. So I just found the one that I think is perfect for me. And it was a hybrid cat eye with short lengths. And that's what I've been trying to achieve. I still have not achieved that. I mean, I kind of did achieve it, but this is giving wispy for sure. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. That was my goal. So all of my tutorials have been to achieve said cat eye lash set, right? Anyway, I did my research. I found some things that worked for me. I still have not invested in a good pair of tweezers. I had to use my mom's in this video. And let's just say your tweezers will make or break anything. These are the tweezers that I use. As you can see, they're very big and upzucky. They don't get tight. They don't grab well. They don't grip well, you know, unlike me, Miss Grippy. But anyway... <laughs> Your tweezers are crucial, don't be like me. I will have everything linked that I use down in the description. You guys are just gonna have to stay tuned to hear the process of how I got to be this good at doing this because my lashes are pretty good if I do say so myself, honestly. I'm gonna let you guys watch this video and I'm gonna stop rambling because if it was up to me, I could talk to you guys for all day and that's not always a good thing because no one wants to sit through hours of me talking unless you do but yeah enjoy the video i just wanted to show you guys how they're holding up after some days and whatnot yeah Today I'll be working with VI's self fanning lashes and of course my INV by Kiss Mega Hole Individual Eyelash Glue in black. This is a glue that I use every time. It's really good. It makes my lashes last for a decent amount of time. It is extremely strong hold. As you can see, it says Mega Hold. So you cannot just use castor oil and take these off. You have to get the glue remover also from by kiss all of this will be in my description you guys know the drill so in this video i'm going to make sure that i am very clear and specific on what i'm using so that it's easier for you guys to understand in case you decide to want to try this at home all right so we're up close and personal i tried to zoom in as much as i could without looking insane to really show you guys what i'm doing um if you're familiar with my other lash tutorials then you know the drill okay so after you make your fan you're probably gonna struggle it's not as easy as you think but I dedicated a part of this video to show you guys how I made my fans but yeah you just want to take the fan dip it in the glue I put the glue on top of the curl not on the bottom because if you put it on the bottom it'll stick to your bottom lashes so put it on the top of the way that the lash is curling up so that it'll stick to your natural eyelashes that are going in the same direction now in my last video i got a lot of comments saying should you apply the lashes to your waterline or to your lash line you should never apply anything to your waterline it's your waterline so it's watery nothing will stick there you're just contaminating your eye with chemicals and you're probably going to go blind and you're probably going to wake up with your eyelids glued shut Please do not apply nothing to your waterline. I feel like this is all pretty repetitive. So I did finish my first eye off camera just so I could really see if this was worth, you know, telling you guys about just because it was my first time working with these lashes. I wanted to make sure that it came out looking good before I continue to film and make this video when it comes out ass. And now it's just like an ass tutorial, you know? Yeah but these are the lengths that i use for my lashes i started off with 
I think the shortest one I used was nine. I used like nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, and 18. Yeah, I just did like, I cut my eyes up into like eighths and I just did like one eighth of nine inch, nine mm, two eighths of 10 mm, three eighths of 11 mm, you know, and just keep it going to really get that cat eye look really wanted a dramatic cat eye so I really focused on making it as short as possible in my inner corner and as long as possible in my outer corner and I think I did a really good job at doing that so yeah those are the lengths they'll be in the description if you forget if you want the same look I would recommend following the lash map that I used This is how I make my lash fans. Make sure that your tweezers are mess grippy. Make sure you got the best tweezers in the world because that will make or break this process for you and how easy or difficult it can be. So what you wanna do is take a small section of lashes, pull it off the tray, right? You wanna adjust it so that you're holding the lash in the middle of the lash and you're gonna squeeze the bottom a little until it spreads out like a pretty little fan, like a little church fan, that's what we're going for. And boom, once you, if you're struggling making a fan, this is what I do, I squeeze the bottom, make the fan, dip it in a little bit of glue, squeeze it again so it holds, so that it's extra skinny on the bottom, so it's it'll look more fluffier when you're applying it. So if your fans are not staying when you're trying to apply them, try dipping them in the glue first, squeezing it again, making the fan, let it dry, dipping it in the glue again, and then applying it. Because that makes the, the root of the lash very small, which means that it won't be chunky and it could easily blend into your eyelash and give you that natural appearance that we're going for, even though it's not natural, you know? You So this is how far we've came. Let me make this a little slower so that you guys can really see. This is a really short video, but like it really is self explanatory It's not self-explanatory, it's just really repetitive. I feel like after a while, you'll just get the hang of it. It's really just taking a lash off, making a fan, dipping in glue, applying it. The lengths that handle itself, like if you apply it correctly and use the right lengths, to me, it'll always look good but you wanna make sure your fans are fanning. Don't make them like, you wanna make sure they're fanning. You wanna make sure they're spread out. They wanna, you want your lashes to look like wispy butterfly wings, not like, well, this is what I'm going for. If you want a more like spiky volume set, maybe don't make your fans as wispy as mine, but I love a wispy fan, so I made them extra wispy. And yeah, you don't want your lashes to be too clumpy. You want it to look like, natural and flowy and wispy so make sure you're spreading out your fans to the best of your ability this went by really fast honestly when i'm using a bad pair of tweezers this could run me from anywhere between two to three hours today this took me about an hour and a half and i love that for me because it was a freaking breeze i do feel like i can do my lashes forever from now on so yeah as you guys can see i'm just doing my other eye on camera now Doing the same steps really, just taking a lash, dipping it in the glue, applying it to my lash line underneath. I'm holding up my eyes so I can really see what I'm doing. And I have the mirror like so close to me, I could see my brain through my nose. But anyway, this is how my lashes are looking so far. Um, I wanted to sit down and show you guys how my lashes came out after this. So yeah, let's get into that. These are the lashes that I use first of all, cause yeah. When I was editing, I couldn't get a good picture. So these are the lashes that I used. I really like these because it really is self fanning. Um, it was really easy for me to make fans with this. In my past videos, I would struggle with fans. Honestly, I was on a hunt for some pre-made fans from this brand, but I didn't buy it. I got this, I was like, wow, I still have to make the fans because I was trying to avoid making fans. I know I talk fast, but y'all don't have to keep up with me because I, it's a long story. It's a long story. And I, this is the intro.
or maybe I'll make this a voiceover so you're not just staring at my face and I'll talk whilst I'm doing it. But anyway, getting off topic. So sorry, it's Gemini season. I'm full Gemini. Um, I'm going to find a better tweezers set and link that too because I was struggling. Shout out to my mom. Because it's a few days later. I'm not going to even lie to you. I did have to touch up my lashes. I did my lashes about like four days ago and some of them did fall out and I had to touch them up but this is how they look right now basically the same you know I didn't like have to refill them too much they are looking at them right now I think the curl is a lot like I didn't I don't usually pay attention to the curl of my lashes but now that I'm looking at my makeup really closely today um these are curled like damn insert montage because come on period bye